Here we are. Nice seeing you again, sir. Very glad to have you. Much obliged. Thanks a lot. All the welcome. Here yeah, we get to China. Major, look us up. I'd rather meet you in Tokyo. Good day, sir. <laughs> you know I'm thirsty. Well, let's do something about it. Go. Why do I said to the general, listen, that may be your opinion, but I can assure you, if you leave. Hmm. There goes my target for tonight. I thought you were thirsty. I was. I am. Uh, keep trying. <laughs> Gentlemen, today I suggest we try walking instead of running to the bar. Hmm? That's going to take a lot of self-control. Find this place blindfold. Where it's blind. Gentlemen, martini, a bourbon and water, a scotch and soda, make it a long, cool. One. I'll have the same money, make mine longer and cooler. I am more than sorry, but Mir Mahal Bar can offer you nothing but Indian whiskey and some local bitter. Okay, don't you ever change that speech? But you mustn't. Yeah, we know, we know. There's a war going on. Ira, Ira, darling, Patsy, Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> am I glad to see you? Imagine running into you way out here, practically the other side of the world. How about that? But what are you doing in India? Oh, don't you read the newspapers? Sorry, but where I bet they're six months old. But let's have it. It sounds important. Oh, it's just that I'm on the USO tour singing with Skeeter Sully's band. Well, well. How long has that been going on? That's the point. It isn't going on much longer. What's the matter? Voice catching a high note? I should say not. But you know how I always was about following rules and regulations. So now they're talking about sending me back home. I can see their point. Just when I was beginning to love India. The heat or the natives? There's a lot more to India than just that. Uh-huh, and if there is, you found it. The same old Patsy. <coughs> it's kind of noisy this time of day, doesn't it? And it's going to get a lot noisier unless... The friends of yours? Oh, they put anybody with you in the air corps. Uh, it isn't that we wish to intrude in any way. Oh, no, no, no. If you wish to be alone, you have only to say the word. I dare you. I get it. Gentlemen, this is Patsy Weatherby, an old friend from back home. Well, it's a small world, but a pleasant one. Uh, Major Bruce, Lieutenant Beale, Major. Lieutenant Yates. Glad to know you, fellas. Uh, don't judge us by our, Miss Weatherby. We're much higher types. Hey, now, wait a minute. Hey, just in time for a drink, Miss Weatherby. Anything in the house, as long as it's Indian whiskey and oh. bitters. No, I'd love to, boys. Really, I would. But I'm expecting an important phone call, and Ira and I have just loads to talk over. We really are old friends, aren't we, Lab? Yeah, quite a long time. It's been years, literally years, since we've seen each other. And meantime, you've had Ira all to yourself. Well, you know, I just never looked at it that way before. Well, I guess we had a break and didn't know it. So I know you'll excuse us. Come on, then. Well, now, wait a minute, Enright. You're not that kind of a pal. Of course he's not. Be seeing you. Uh, so long, gentlemen. So long. After all I've done for that guy. He's no friend. He's a monopoly. You know, boys, I could have sworn she called that wolf a lamb. Make yourself comfortable. You know, I've got so much to tell you, I don't know where to start. The boy will be up in a minute with the ice and soda, and believe it or not, I've got all the scotch you can drink and some left over. That's a lot of scotch. A Maharaja gave me a whole case, can you imagine? Oh, between us, here's the phone call I'm expecting. Ah, oh, lucky girl. Scotch is $100 a bottle in China. Oh, really? Maybe I shouldn't have accepted it, but he insisted. Quite a dear, very cultured and rich, too. Open it, will you, and I'll get you a couple to take with you. Come in. Take care of them, will you, darling, and start getting things ready? All right. Here, I'll take it. Oh, oh there you are. <laughs> you know, I can't get over it. Both of us here in India at the same time, the same hotel. Life's very funny. I'm putting these by your cap so you won't forget. It's a good way not to forget the cap. Here you are, Patsy. Well, here's to a long life and a short war. Well, if you don't mind, I'll drink this one to my angel. That. Well, they say I've got a nice fat one sitting next to me in my plane. Lucky, huh? So far. Hard, isn't it? Sticky heat. Not like California. It's not so bad when you're cool inside. No, I'll take the Southland any day. My hands get wringing wet. You seem to be doing all right, Patsy. Well, those? I got them at a pawn shop. You can pick up wonderful bargains out here if you know where to look. Same pawn shop the scotch came from? <laughs> you don't exactly approve of me, do you, Ira? You never did. Oh, why go back into that? You're all right. Haven't changed a bit, have you?
still bubbling over with enthusiasm. I'm enthusiastic enough, Patsy, only about different things than you are. I'll let that one pass. Drink up, darling. I'll pour you another. Okay, but make mine light this time. All right. I'll make mine very dark to even up. Uh, by the way, Ira, have you ever heard from Sally? Not since the wind-up. Tell me more about this show you're with. No, I, I've always liked you. Even though you didn't like me. Oh. It's all right. Matter of fact, I can't say I blame you. I liked you all right. No, I always had the feeling that, well, maybe if it hadn't been for me, you and Sally wouldn't have got yourselves divorced. Well, let's skip it. It was all wrong for both of us. You had nothing to do with it. You're sweet to say that. Sally and I busted up after she got back from Reno. We had an awful argument, and I just stopped seeing her. You may not believe this, Ira, but I told her in spite of your not liking me. I thought you were a perfect lamb chop. And I told her right out that what she was doing to you shouldn't be done to a dog. It wasn't as bad as all that. We both wanted a divorce. We were too young to be married in the first place. I wasn't talking about that. Oh, that must be the Mohawk. Excuse me, miss. Hello? Oh, hello, Jeffrey. I'm so glad you called. Hmm? Well, I can't be sure. Why don't you call me back around four? Maybe we can get together for dinner. Right you are. Bye now. Wasn't the Maha after all. Uh, now, what were we talking about? Nothing special. Oh, yes. Uh, about the bus stop. I still feel I was right. Well, I'll never be any closer to anybody than I was to Sally. There are some things that you just don't sit by and watch happen. Not when it's got to do with a sweet, innocent, lovely child. What are you talking about, Patsy? The baby. The baby? What baby? Well, yours and Sally's. Sally had a baby? Sure. She knew she was going to have one while she was trying to raise the money to get to Reno. It was when she got back to Laguna after the divorce that I found out. That's what we had the argument about. I told her if I knew about this, he'd want to patch things up. But, well, she gave me promise never to tell you. Boy or girl, not that it matters. Boy. He was born in July. He'll be almost three years old now. I've got a kid almost three years old. I didn't even know it. I'm a father. Does he look anything oh, like... Oh, I must tell you, he's... Gee, I could have been sending him dough all along. you got to see that a kid has the right kind of a start, a decent home and all that. Please, you'd better let me. He ought to have a place with a, a dog and a pony. And wait till he sees the souvenirs I've got for him. But well, July, that's almost here. I've got to get him some presents. You've got to listen to me. You haven't got a son. Not anymore. What do you mean? What happened to him? Well, Don't stall. Come on, let's have the rest of it. Well, he was adopted by somebody. That's the whole thing. That's what we had the fight about. I didn't see how she could do it. She gave him away right after he was born. Oh, no, Sally wouldn't do that. That's a rotten lie. Oh, it's true. She doesn't even know who has, and she couldn't find out if she wanted to. It was all arranged by the doctor. I guess she thought it was better that way. Wait a minute. That isn't all. Yes, it is. I should have remembered you always were bad news. You probably planned this just to get even with me for the fight we had in Laguna. Well, be happy. You're even. 